Hello there YouTube, uh, welcome to Petran Pipes. In this brief video I will be showing you how to make a pocket pipe after uh, a request I've had of a uh, few of my subscribers. So let's get started. We will uh, use a pre-drilled block of briar and we will use nothing but hand power tools. This is our first tool. It's a, it's a, it's a saw. It's a saw blade. It's very, very effective and it's very sharp so you have to be very careful when you use it uh, you can also cut a tree if you want with this, with this part so it's good enough for cutting uh, chunks of uh, briar our next tool is a rasp any common rasp which is uh, made for taking off uh, chunks of wood and this is a file for the final touch for the pre-final touch before getting into sanding Let's get started. This is our block of briar that we want to start with. It's a pre-drilled block of briar. So we can start by taking off any excess material of uh, briar. In this particular case, we want to be as close as we want to our lines, not too close in the shank because we will destroy our final our our product and not too far away because it will it will you will, will get into more trouble if you want to uh, continue with the rasp later on same goes for any other part of the of this uh, block you want to get as close as you can to the external diameter of the pipe both from top and bottom at the same time this is really going to help you because most of the job is uh, is actually an eyeball issue because we work with our hands not having a lathe so it's going to be kind of more difficult but very very good uh, our next step after having taken off any excess material from this part is this uh, block okay as you can see there is a there's quite a big difference from one block to another okay we've uh, mostly we've taken uh, we've taken out a lot of excess material which is around the shank and uh, the bottom part okay so far we've used nothing but our blade saw and of course you have to keep this uh, stable in a vise you know you don't want to work using just your hands because along with uh, the briar blocks you're gonna chop your fingers off you don't want to do that so you have to keep it stable in a vise second uh, third part we are right here not much of a big difference of just taking those uh those pieces of chunks which are around uh, the the basic uh, part of the bowl. I've taken them off, okay. And the bottom part too. So not much of a big change. This is not about a big difference. This is gonna take you about uh, five minutes. No, not much work has been done here. To our next step, we have to get rid of our saw, and uh, we are going to work most most of the time using a rasp. We have to use it, of course, as always, you have to keep your block steady on a vise. So we have to work in a way, in such a way, so as to get rid of the corners that have been uh, shaped out from uh, cutting the block with uh, our saw. We want to get as close as we can to the external diameter, which is defined here. We have drawn it on the, on the block from both top and bottom at the same time. Okay, this is... Um, mostly done by 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 uh, eyesight okay you use it an eyeball issue there's no any, any symmetry that you have to uh, obtain using any lathe okay we do exactly we do the same thing in every corner of course with the shank too we have to be very careful with the shank because it's a more delicate part you don't want to put a lot of power here because it might take any piece off you don't want to you don't uh, want to uh, apply any less force because it will not do any job properly Okay, practice, as in everything else, is going to make things better as time goes on. Uh, so, after about uh, after a significant amount of time, I could tell you, we reach into our final product, pre-final product, which is this uh, block. Okay, after having uh, used a rasp in the most productive way, we have to use uh, a rasp, uh, our file, in such a way so as to uh, take any excess material off using it that way okay it it's going to be kind of uh, easier to use it than the rasp because most of the part most of the design has already been shaped uh, uh, by using a rasp 
so and the most difficult part is uh, when we reach this point where it looks like that the shank and the ball are two different uh two pieces of bribe which is actually it's actually the same part there's no glue we have done, haven't joined any two different parts here together we have to be very careful at this point okay now another thing is that this file has got two big sides top and bottom which are both used for filing out any excess material and the two side parts this one and that one okay the first side has got many grooves which is used for filing as the other big sides do but the other side as you can see is really really plain now we this is very useful when we want to, when we work with corners and sides such as in a block of briar suppose that we want to take any excess material from the shank but we do not want to affect the ball so we have to put uh, we have to uh, use this level side this plain side touching the ball this way and we rub it off that way in this way we will only take excess material out of the shank not from the ball and the other way around goes too if we want to take if we want to take off any excess material from the ball but not affecting the shank we have to put the plain side on the shank and rubbing off this way and we have to do exactly the same thing all the way around from the shank and all the way around from the ball this is going to take this is the part that will take you most of the time okay this you have to be very patient with that so you want to make your final hand crafted pro uh, product looking like this or almost like this we will, you will not uh, get 100% uh, cylindric symmetry as if it's gone out of a lathe but um, as i said practice will make it will make things better and uh, hold on a second this is your final product if you use rustication uh, it's gonna look like this of course you don't want of course it's not necessary that you rusticate it so that's all thank you for watching goodbye and uh, happy puffs